if white people have to detox over the lies their forefathers fed them, over the cruelty their forefathers initiated them into, well, guess what? The people who were under their control also need to detox. Yes. Many of us, whether in the diaspora or even on the continent, many of us need to detox. Bottom line is just the truth. Because many of us have become our former masters. <laughs> Hi, this is Queen Ningon the second, 17th generation crown queen of the people of Ekang, also known as the Immortals. So, I'm a business owner, a mom, and a Pan-African activist. So last year, I was called to serve publicly. So I decided to engage myself into the fight toward the Negro dignity, all right? So when it comes to talking about Negro dignity, of course, it's a fight. Why is it a fight? Because we were knocked out of our thrones and we were made slave, okay? So I want everybody to understand that in the things we're fighting for, the things we are asking for, the things we are going after, a lot of which will require work from our part because we have to face the truth. Those who took over our land, murdered our kings and put us into slavery I mean, they did not leave any stone unturned. I mean, I mean, they conquered us physically. They restricted our freedom. And then they conquered us mentally. Many of us are still subconsciously viewing them as gods, like they painted Jesus in white and all that stuff. You know? A lot of us are basically surrounding themselves into slavery without even knowing that they're keeping themselves still as slaves. So today's video is a very important one because uh, it's uh, basically a video in which I will address, I will touch on our own fragility as the survivor of the most brutal assault ever launched or ever waged against a group of people okay so the sole goal of this video is to start the healing process and uh, in order for us to heal we have to face our demons we have to basically be mature enough you know and sit down and figure why are we in the situation we are in in the first place okay so this is where i come in for those who don't know me my name is queen ningon the second i'm 17 generation crown queen of the people of ekang also known as the immortal they call us fang okay so basically a crown is basically for those who don't know what a crown is this is nothing fancy that i want to come out and put myself out there i was called to do this job for our people so a crown is a covenant between a group of people and god and all of you came from crown so it means that there are covenants governing us whether we like it or not, whether our former masters were 
successful enough in beating our identity out of us. It doesn't matter spiritually who we are, who we were established as people is Africans. And then the respective kingdom, you know, you were born under. So that's what a crown is. And last year, when America murdered George Floyd, because I was wondering why they crowned me, they told me, you ask us why we crowned you. Now you need to get up and get out there and help our people heal. So I had to go through a whole process of initiation and preparation and everything to come and do this job. Okay? So I want many of you to relax around me. I didn't come out to become a celebrity. I'm not here to entertain our former masters. It's a tough job. But when you are royal, you have no choice, especially when you are the custodial of the crown. Once they crown you and you took your oath, that's it, they own you. You know, you become somebody completely different. The things that used to in interest you, the things that used to be your passion, all this just get wiped away. And then you get a new programming. So that's why I'm in front of your screen today. Okay, I'm on a mission. So please relax around me. It is important that you listen to the message I have to convey. I was predicted to come. It's not an easy job. The topics I touch on upset many people. Some send death threat to my inbox. All right? So I can fight whomever choose to easily without even moving a finger. All right? But when it comes to us, it shouldn't be any of us. I'm not here to steal your little spotlight. We are amazing people. We survived the most brutal assault or war the world has ever waged on a group of people. We should walk around proud of being survivors of such attack and get off each other's throat, okay? If you guys watch the video, um, Dear White People, which upset like many of them, but I was stating the facts and I was even offering a remedy. So speaking of that video, I was suggesting that they detox from the lies they were fed for so many years. You know, I prescribed a, a mental and the spiritual detox, right? So guess what? Today is your turn. Us, the children of Africa. I can't roast them and skip you guys. It wouldn't be fair when you, the main reason why they set me on this journey. So, if white people have to detox over the lies their forefathers fed them over the cruelty their forefathers initiate them into. Well, guess what? The people who were under their control also need to detox. Yes, many of us, whether in the diaspora or even on the continent, many of us need to detox. Bottom line is just the truth because many of us have become our former masters. You know, in a previous video, I mentioned that my dad was an ambassador, that we travel and so on. So I had the opportunity to observe how French acting are the Africans who fell under France and uh, those who fell under Portu Portuguese, same thing. They have a lot from their former, you know, colonizers and so on. And here in America, a lot of our people have become the narcissistic pricks 
who enslaved us for many, many, many years. We are just yet to admit it that many of us have become that which we resent so much. Some of us have given themselves the luxury to become hateful as well. Well, my dear people, we cannot. Many of you have found the truth on your own. You know, sometimes I just go through different posts and things you guys come up with and how you guys put two and two together with the little bit that is out there, how you reconstruct the puzzle. It's amazing. Like I always say, our people are amazing. So since we will start the healing process, it's important that we touch on the very ultra sensitive topics. Okay. In a previous video I made called the birth of a queen. All right. In that video, I explain the how and the why we went through what we went through for those who are interested in kind of getting the background of, you know, things that I will probably mention you're free to go back there. So as far as, as far as I'm concerned, my assessment of what happened to us as to the root cause of what led to the fall of our world and the end of it. My own assessment is the only weapon that was so successful when it came to us was the divide and conquered, right? In that video, you will, you know, uh, see in detail how they were able to, uh, the, they were able to get through the mightiest empires we had in Africa. We had the Wasulu Empire under Emperor Samurai Touré, and we also had the, uh, the Zulu Empire under the Emperor Shaka Zulu, right? So there they couldn't military with these bad guys. So they had to infiltrate the royal families. Yeah, and I explained how they were able to successfully find puppets who were blood, blood relation of the kings. Yes, they were their half brothers and so on, but they, they, they made it happen because only your blood knows where you hide, right? They know that about us. So, you know, before, you know, I start airing the very, the various ways of uh, us killing each other, doing the worst to each other. I have to take you back to history so that you can understand why we do to each other, the things we do to each other and where, and where it's, it's tied. Okay. So number one, you need to know that all the African crowns, the foundation of all the African crowns is the principle of one, that oneness. Okay, we are one with our creator. This is what, what, this is the base of our philosophy also we call Ubuntu, which forces to see the creator in every single part of his creation. So we are one with the creator and the creator is one with us. So when we became a people, when the creator established us, you know, and gave us kings and stuff, Wherever there's a crown, there's a covenant. And the foundation of all African crowns, I can't speak for the Europeans. I don't know if they even had real crowns. Because where there's a crown, there's, there's an agreement with God. And seeing what they did with their crown, too much blood shed for it to even be called crown. You know, they, they were warlords. But... All I can speak is for the African crown. So wherever there's a crown, there's an agreement between God and 
that group of people, it means God knows us. So God has instructed us that we are to rule, you know, under the one, the principle of one, what they call the law of one, you know, anything they touch, they corrupt, they manipulate to serve their, their agenda. But what, instruct, what God instructed to our people, right, about the principle of one, is like we are all one, we are all connected. The king represents his people, and his people constitute his crown. So the people are the body of a king's crown. If you watch the video, dear white people, I go there in detail. Why the, the super duper lie they say, really, <laughs> when your people are your crown, you will die defending them. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, so they need to go away with their little fantasy story that the richest men on earth, the whole world was flocking around them to go and get goodies that these same guys sold their own children for money and they also all winded up dead, their kingdoms burned to the ground, their sacred art, their artifact looted, adorning their museum. I mean, come on. You got to be a retard or intellectually dishonest individual, a narcissist that just want to hear what he want to hear or he goes, <laughs> nonsense. So in the healing process, you guys have to keep that in mind. Our fathers fought and that was the only way for them to get access of you. It was over their dead bodies and that's exactly what happened. So know that in starting your healing process. So God instructed us to live as one with him and all his entire creation. And God entrusted the role of illuminating the other human beings to the woman. So we bear the light. In the triangle of life, we have... Young boy.